Hi, it's Mitz from My Life Mitz. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today I wanted to do a One Book July journal with me type of video. I, If you've catched my, I guess my, my most recent video, I talked about trying to complete the Hobonichi challenge or at least half of the prompts. And I actually started doodling on this other notebook. So I'm going to take out the paper from this notebook and put it into my fabric junk journal that I've been working in. I've been using this one notebook for all of my creative bits for this month and I've been really enjoying it so far. Um, the reason why it's so chunky is because I have so many things I need to journal about that I've kept in the pockets. So I thought I would just do a small journal with me session. So I'm usually not into like the huge like flowery frilly type of uh, notebooks in general but uh, I don't know it's just this is so pretty and I kept this really nice ribbon from Michelle when I purchased one of her beautiful notebooks and it fit perfectly so I've been using this to tie it up and the reason why I have this I f before I forget to mention is that for my journaling while I was away I had this this one here and you can see like I journaled there here. So instead of taking my huge notebook, this huge uh, junk journal with me, I, I took this traveler's notebook and I just journaled. And so when I got home, all I did was print out the photos, stuck some washi tape and stickers, and ripped out <laughs> the paper. So as you can see, I wrote down what I wanted to write because I didn't have my junk journal with me and you can see that I kind of ripped or cut it out. Uh, this is the Robigi Note Yamakami Letters. I love this, it's so pretty. Um, I have to uh, show you a close up here. The stitching is like a lime green thread. It's so neat. But anyways, um, instead of taking my junk journal with me, I, I just had this traveler's notebook so I just journaled and when I got home all I did was I cut these pap papers out, I printed off the photos and I was ready to like collage and add stickers and it was really nice that I didn't have to worry about uh, journaling later. Cause sometimes I tend to do that is I tend to stick all the photos and then I catch up on my journaling later. So that's why this notebook is here. And I just wanted to quickly show you that it is still doable like even if you just bring a small little passport size traveler's notebook with you on your travels if it's just a small little road trip um, you can journal about it in here and then do all your pictures and things later when you get home I'm gonna cut this out actually I'm gonna rip it so that I can get the ripped edge and I think I might have skipped a couple of days but uh, let's see here Where's my props? Junebug, Joker, Jupiter, I did. So Javelin, the Japonica flower. Oh, I don't, I think I skipped number six. Jabbit? I went right to Jasper. I don't know what happened there. Um, I know some people drew the Jasper like the stone, but I decided to draw Jasper the location in Canada because it's so beautiful and of course it's nothing like this drawing. <laughs> um, I was just doodling while listening to some music and it was just using a ballpoint pen. Sometimes you just need those kinds of downtime. It just really just a couple of minutes of doodling. So I'm going to stick those in here somewhere. I don't, I'm not doing it in chronological order. I have a whole bunch of stuff in my box over there on the side as well that I want to use. So I think I'm going to use some scrap papers and this would be a perfect size for that. And oh, I have to get Courtney's uh, number stickers, collage sheet stickers. I really need to rejig my, reorganize my items. Like my things are everywhere. Like there's small pieces over here, small pieces over there. Like it's all over the place, and I really need to like concentrate 
or organize my stuff like the travel stuff is here the vintage stuff is here like I just I just really need to have time to do that and <clears throat> I don't know about you but I I need to see everything but if I do that then my kids will definitely get at it uh, my daughter's at a stage where she likes to open up every drawer and op take out everything that's inside one box and it's like a discovery phase which which is very very cute I love seeing her uh, eyes she looks so amazed by all the things that she sees everything is new to her so um, but yeah so I need to find time it's usually like when they're asleep but when they're asleep I'm exhausted and I don't have time or I just don't feel like <laughs> organizing <laughs> So anyways, let me just cut out a couple of these uh, dates. So this is from Courtney Diaz, Little Raven Ink. Um, th these collage sheets are from her Patreon. And so I decided to use these for the dates for the Hoponichi Challenge. I'm sorry, my voice is still like... I don't know what it is. It's, I've had this... It's not... It is a sore throat, but it's like this coughing. I get this coughing attack. And it's been going on for over a month and I'm going to see a different doctor this weekend so hopefully I'll get some answers. And I've tried so many different types of medications and I just, I don't like to take too much. So I'm hoping I find out what's wrong. Uh, <coughs> let me cut out a couple more numbers just in case. Sorry if you can hear my uh, washing machine in the background, it's quite loud. But I have to keep the door open so that the AC goes to the other room. My daughter is taking a nap and we don't have air conditioning in the other room. It's not a central air like in North America, there's just one AC unit in the living room and that's it. And it's if I don't keep the door open, the AC won't go. And all right, so let's do that. I really want to. My goal today for this video is to get the Hobonichi challenge, at least some of the prompts, in my journal. All right. I think this is good for this size. This is day. Five five. I think I just I'm gonna simply staple it down. I'm not gonna glue it or anything like that. Just really easy and simple. Just gonna staple it down. Yeah. Then I don't know how to use um, these types of papers. I don't know if I was thinking of like cutting it out into like a frame, but I'm not too sure. So I'm gonna put this aside for now because I don't know if I want to put it into a pocket or stick it on a page. And then see other the other Jasper and Javelin. I think Javelin is number four, day four. And so let's see. If it is a bigger piece. So I think I'll put it here. This is a tag that I stapled in and I think I will put it there. Yeah, I will put some washi tape on the back as well. Uh, what do you think? Should I put washi tape? Is it necessary? Thank you so much for all those, uh, all of your comments and my other video. Um, the video where I'm creating the the fabric junk journal. I know it's not really. I'm still a a newbie, or I'm still very new to creating junk journals and whatnot. So I really appreciate all the wonderful tips. I really need to find time to respond to each and every comment that's made. But I really just quickly want to say thank you so much for all the tips. I'm learning so much from you. So I really do appreciate uh, you taking the time to uh, leave a comment and giving me the tips. So, 
So here is what I think I will do. I don't know. I might put some washi tape or... I'm kind of liking this green. So I will just cut out a piece. So I'm going to, I don't like the edges pointy for some reason for this one, so I'm going to just use the corner punch and around the edges. Actually yesterday, last night, we were talking, uh, my husband and I were talking about going back to visit Canada and it's so expensive to travel with kids. Well, I mean, it's, totally, it's expensive in general to travel. Um, so we were thinking, I want to go back during like summertime or you know, when the weather isn't so cold. That way it's easier for us to travel around. I don't, we don't have to rely on uh, people driving us. We can just take the bus or the trains. I mean, it's not that we can't during the winter time. It's just if there is a big, like a snow, if it's snowing and, you know, the kids well, most likely, both of them will be one. One, <laughs> my three-year-old will obviously be walking, but my other one, she will be walking, but I don't know how comfortable she will be in uh, walking in the snow. So we really want to go back during the summertime, but the prices are so expensive during the summer. It's so strange the summer vacation here. And why I say that is because <clears throat> a lot of the times people have the summer vacation on the same days. It's not like Canada where you can reserve or request, okay, I'm going to be off August uh, 5th to the 10th or something. Here, um, there's certain off days um, on the calendar, and then most people will take off the summer vacation on those off days. And so, a lot of Japan have holidays on the same exact day as you and so all the plane tickets and everything of course are a lot more expensive so I think we might have to go back end of the year instead of summertime which I don't know I'm not sure I mean we still have to <laughs> see if we have the money to go back um, we're trying hard to save up to go back we haven't been back in a couple of years I think my sister came to visit last year, so we didn't go back last year. The year before that, I had, I was pregnant, so we didn't go back. So I think it's been two years. So there's day number four. I feel like something is missing, but I don't know what. So I'm gonna just leave it as is. I can always come back to it. I think maybe one of the episodes, or if you want. If you're interested, I might just flip through the pages and stick down stickers, or I might flip through the pages and just do stamping. Um, I think that would be fun to do. Okay, this is Jasper. Jasper is day... Jasper is day 10. Oh, I didn't cut out day 10. Where's my day 3? Jupiter, it's just a sticker. So don't feel uh, discouraged uh, with the whole challenge. If you can't draw, if you don't feel like drawing, you can, you can see my example day three is just a sticker of Jupiter. You can just take a photo, you can just even journal about it. Uh, yeah, where? Uh, I'm trying to find my. I feel like. Let me stick something like this down. Now I'm overthinking. Okay, let's just leave it as is. Oh, I don't like how it's <laughs> all in one line. I'm overthinking, but it's going to bother me, so I'm going to... Okay. Um, Jasper number D, D10. Let's see if I can find a spot that I want to add. Whoops. Are you participating in the Hobonichi challenge? 
if you are, I would love to see your Instagram. Like, if you're sharing on Instagram, please leave your Instagram name below so that I can see, so that I can check it out. This is pretty neat. This card here, it's like a film. Film. Maybe I will. Rip that. Do you have any summer vacation plans? I remember when I was back home, uh, I remember when I was in school, in primary school, uh, there was a family that always went away um, for any, like, for all of their holidays or m most of their holidays. So during March break, summer vacation, winter vacation, they always went somewhere. And I was so envious and they're so lucky to go to all these different places all over the world and I hope to do that for my kids too so I think that's nice this this uh, card is perfect oh actually it's a couple of sheets so I'm gonna that's really neat so I'm gonna use this one then and do that for day number 10 And then I was also thinking, because we are located in Japan right now, I also want to travel to Asia. If I were to travel to Asia from Canada, it's so expensive. So I thought, you know, while we're here anyways, might as well take advantage of it and travel Asia instead. So I don't know what to do. It's so hard. <laughs> it would be so nice to have all the money in the world to travel whenever you like, but... So there's that, that's pretty neat. Uh, let's just, just run in some tape runner here. Do you have a dream spot that you want to visit? I would love to visit Europe. I really want to try like Switzerland, Germany, Norway, Finland. Uh, the Netherlands. I would really love to visit Europe. I don't have a specific country that I want to go to right away, but yeah, it would most likely be Europe. In Asia, I want to try going to Korea because I love Korean food so much, um, but I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I I, I, I want to go there for like the stationary shopping and uh, to buy like maybe beauty masks and for the food but other than that I'm not too sure oh I think I hear my daughter coughing maybe she's going to be she's going to wake up any minute now so so these are the tags that uh, are from my son's bathing suit he uh, at his daycare they swim they go swimming. Well, it's not really swimming, but it's more like um, one of those inflatable pools. <laughs> and so I bought, I wanted to keep the tag for that. And I want to also... I was going to do some journaling too. Is this going to fit this way? Yeah. I was going to add a journaling card too, so let's see if there's a small piece. I don't know what it is. I think it's my camera. I cleared out my memory card and I've charged my battery, but still it got cut off. So I don't, maybe it's the camera that's cutting out at a specific time. I don't I didn't think I was talking for that long, so I'm sorry. I don't know where it got cut off, but I passed uh, some twine through these tags. These tags are from a swimming set that I purchased for my son, and then I have this I ripped out this scrap piece of paper because I want to journal about it, and I didn't even use a hole puncher. I just punched a hole using a mechanical pencil. And so I'm going to just tie this up and put it inside here so that I can journal journal about it when I'm playing catch up. 
I tend to stick all my bits like my photos and collages and things and then when I have time or when I'm when I just have some downtime and my husband is watching some TV or we're watching something together uh, I I that's when I tend to journal a little bit here and there it's kind of weird maybe uh, this one here I think that's okay so there's that Mm, let's try and quickly draw something together because I have these numbers cut out I might as well use this card and some scrap papers and just make a small collage <laughs> then I can add the photo or my drawing later on there I find that if I, everything is all ready to go then I can't uh, it's a lot easier for me to uh, do the Hobonichi challenge or do any type of journaling if it's just all kind of already decorated and ready to go it makes things a lot easier Don't feel afraid to use all your scraps. There's number six. I'm trying to see if there's anything else that I could use. Some stickers. <laughs> 